People get into their garage and think that they are safe, but until that door is completely closed, that's not true. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the Dominican Republic. Mountain Man Medical has name brand proven trauma medical supplies with a price match guarantee to ensure you get the right gear at the right price. Check them out at get-asp.com slash mountain man. Family pulling into their driveway, you can see the gate open up there and they're pulling into their garage. And you can see, I just barely see their garage door going down. When these three dudes jump out of the car that's down the street and they are gonna duck under the garage door, make it go back up. And as we go inside, <clears throat> watch them get under the garage door, make the garage door go back up. At least one of them has a gun here. And now of course the family finally gets to see that and these guys are gonna shake them down. Wallets, cell phones, jewelry, all that stuff. I don't have a great news story on this one, so if you do, please put it in a comment. But you can see them grabbing all their stuff and then running off finally once they have everything that they want from this family. You see them running off. I don't have a follow-up if they ever caught this guy, but we certainly are gonna get to think about some lessons out of this one. We just did a deep dive Zoom seminar about carjacking defense, and this kind of stuff came up in it. If you wanna take the deep dive and really learn the principles here in depth, hit the link in the description because the seminar is there. Significant lesson I wanna think about out of this one is that you want to pay attention to your surroundings. It's a little later at night, uh, and and I, what I want you to pay attention to is, is this car normal on this road? And this, this is in a, you know, a community where everybody has a gate, but remember those gates are only good when they're closed. They're only gonna keep people away when they are closed. When they are open, you've got a transitional space, so you gotta pay attention. And when you see a vehicle that's out of place, doesn't mean you gotta get super paranoid or whatever, but I would definitely pay attention. This is the Dominican Republic, very hard to get a firearm and, and a firearm license, but I would recommend you carry firearms if at all possible for exactly this kind of thing. And I'd also recommend that you back into your parking spot. I think it is important in this case to think about that particular spot because had he backed into his parking spot, he might have been able to see in this instance what was going on, see those guys coming, put it in drive and get the heck out of there as fast as he possibly could. Now, of course, that, that means that if there was anybody in the home, if the, the door from the garage into the house is open, then those people are at risk. So that could be a challenge as well. But I would definitely say backing in is a better way in this kind of environment, if at all possible, because then you can see better if guys are coming out of the car at you. You also wanna get those gates closed as fast as you can. Big problem here, of course, is that these guys don't get to see, because they're in the garage and I get it, they don't get to see the fact that these guys are coming at them. And of course, we have two gates here. You can see the wrought iron gate that is still open. And then you also can see the fact that they had the garage door going down. I just want you to recognize everybody kind of gets, you know, their guard comes down. Oh, okay, we're in the house, we're in the garage, everything's okay. But that's only the case once the gate is closed, once the garage door is down, once the you, that you're not in a transitional space anymore. Until then, you have to continue to pay attention. I would strongly encourage you, keep your doors locked if at all possible. And I get it, you might go, man, I live in a good neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. But these people do live in a good neighborhood as well, or, or you know, probably thought they did, and, and that didn't help them out at all. Now, once these guys have breached your doors with a firearm out, this is a very difficult problem. And this is probably the only time that a private citizen might have something like fighting in a vehicle to do. You know, this isn't like a drug buy or anything like that. That's fighting guys who are trying to take your stuff, who are in a position of advantage in this case. Be very difficult to draw a firearm in this particular case. Very difficult to fight these guys off, especially because one of them had a firearm. So generally would not recommend that unless you've had some significant training in that and your skill set is very high. Prevention is definitely the better case here. So make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings, backing in your vehicles, closing your gates before you get out of the vehicle, if at all possible. It's probably the best way here to cover your ASP. 